Uh, my name is Coach Derek Pringle. Uh, I have been coaching youth basketball for about 30 years now. Uh, I'm the founder of DAP Hoops. As you can see, this is what we do is if it's in the background. We train kids, help build up confidence and, and discipline in young men and women uh, through, the, through the sport of basketball. Uh, my day starts off with, it's, it's not 24 hours, but it's pretty much like it. I breathe and read and study a basketball. Uh, every kid that walks in my door, I try to help. I try to work with them and guide them uh, to get better so they can make their club team or high school team. Um, I'm always doing something with YouTube. Uh, I get emails with camps and clinics of you know, how to get better. I'm always studying the game of basketball because I think basketball is a way that can lead somebody through, you know, life far as, you know, as become a coach, be a mentor, because uh, that's how, how I got started. I started when I was about 40. And I, I, like I said, I've been doing it before then as just a volunteer through the YMCA. Now I run my own program. Uh, I also coach high school, I coach college. Uh, a junior college level in the NY and um, pretty much every level of high school from uh, B level to 4A. Um, so my job is is mainly to make sure each kid comes out of here with a positive experience. Oh, well the night before after I leave out of here, if I have practice the next day, I'm drawing up a practice plan from what I found out what I've seen at practice, what we need to work on uh, as a team and, and as each individual needs to work on so I can get them ready for, you know, for a tournament or, you know, for a league game. Uh, I, once I get the practice plan done, I, I look over and study it. I go to my, my video library where I have a lot of film on my phone, a lot of <laughs> YouTube stuff where I, I study those things that, that we need to fix and I also take pieces of that and I send it out to the kids that, you know, so they can look at it. Like these boys right here, I sent them a tape, you know, prior uh, to the today's practice on my grandson playing in Kansas. He's on an elite basketball program at the same age as them. I wanted them to see how fast the game is because these kids, this is their first time playing at the, at the, um, the competitive level. Uh, so I wanted them to see before we go up to our to Tacoma and play, uh, what to expect, because it's the same thing up there that's in Kansas. Um, once I get that done, you know, I, I send out the messages, checking to make sure everybody's gonna be at practice, make sure everybody's okay. Uh, and, you know, I send them out little quotes in the morning, uh, little motivational quotes and videos to help lift them up. And um, after that, my time to come down here is I used to get here about an hour before, set up, open the gym up, uh, and work with, you know, work with those coming and sit down and talk to kids and see, you know, how the day was, you know, like, and, you know, trying to mentor outside of basketball, you know, because basketball is just a tool, but the main thing is, is the relationship of getting to, look, you know, know each other. And that's how you build that confidence. I tell any young person, always volunteer, if you're 16, you know, go to your local YMCA or your local community parks and rec, volunteer as a coach. Learn the game under somebody. And then from there, uh, there's like little coaching schools you can go to uh, that are free. Uh, I created one during COVID, you know. You know, what does it look like to be a, be a coach? I took the years that I have been doing it and put it into a five part video, not video, but uh, a PowerPoint, and I shared it every Wednesday, every Saturday for one hour. I was sitting to them a day out, the day before, let them look it over, then we'll look at it, and then we'll we'll discuss. You know, and I, on the last week, I had them come in. We did a live stream where I had kids come in, and I saw them how I practice this uh, and I saw them how I interact with the kids. That's the most important is the relationship with each and every player you have, because everybody's different. So you want to make sure you know how each person thinks, you know, what makes them tick, 
the good things and, and, and the um, and the weaknesses. And so that's what I do when I get here earlier. I sit down and just talk with those who come in early and, and answer any questions that I can. Have. So, but you know, back to being a coach. Once you get involved and you want to do it, uh, you want to do it. People like me, uh, I know there's several people like me that like to, I take volunteers in and I work with them, you know, and then after a year, if they do well, you know, I recommend them out to people who are looking for a coach, assistant coach or or even a head coach, you know, because that's the, that's the main thing, it's, it's all about networking. You, you know, you got somebody looking out for you, uh, uh, that'll make the whole thing get a whole lot faster. That's how I got into it, somebody looked out for me. And the next thing I know, I was coaching college. You know, so uh, if you want to do it, my door is always open. My name is Derek Pringer, founder and director of Dab Hoops Basketball. I can be reached at 360-556-4342 or email at dabhoopsbasketball at gmail. You can find us out on Facebook at Dab Hoops or you can find us on the web at dabhoopsbasketball.com. If you have any questions or any interest in what we do, we'd love to help you.